Did you hear it for the first time? <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, good, man. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. So you know how long it takes to get uh, marijuana? So it takes like three months. Three months. I through it, and like he's like, dude, I don't think you should do that. And I'm like, it'll be so funny. Like he'll be so bummed. I was almost gonna do you it. You would be so bummed. I know. I would be so bummed too. But I was just thinking how funny that would be if he came back from smoking a cigarette, and I had a big X through his tattoo. It was only funny at the time. <laughs> the raddest dude my my friend's family owns this it's like a 16 room hotel from the fucking 1900s nice. and it's the time when my friend's family bought it they bought it for $20,000 and it's a 16 room hotel and they have a huge mini ramp in there Tat it's only three dudes that live in this place, and it's a 16-room place. Like, That's it's all old-fashioned steez. Like, they got a big-ass ramp, a big-ass bar. So, wait, do they live in there? Yeah, a tattoo. One of the rooms is a tattoo, sh like, parlor. Wow. One of have you heard of that shit called Bumbershoot in Seattle? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a big music festival, but his family started that. And they have all this old art shit, like crazy. Shit from that What's up with that shirt, Kaz? Shit's tight. What's your girlfriend say about that shirt? It's embarrassing. She don't want to go outside with me on. Put it on. That's the best part about it. <laughs> she will seriously walk back in the house and leave me. <laughs> Smokes. And then what happened? And then on my way out, I'm carrying a backpack and a bunch of fucking sweat. Every all my friends shit. And then this fucking dude comes around the corner and takes his shirt off, tells me I called his girlfriend a bitch. I'm surrounded by a bunch of people that don't have my back, and I just watched him hit my friend, almost kill my friend with a wine bottle. So he's trying to fight, and I'm like, dude, this guy wasn't in a fight. I never, I never seen him before. I'm all chill. I'm just chilling. And then he just, he's like, you call me a liar. I'm like, no, dude, I, you got the wrong person. I don't even know who you are, who your girlfriend is. And then he just started laying into my face. I'm holding all this shit. Got hit like twice or three times before I, like, I still held all my shit. And I was just looking at him like, dude, stop. Like, we're not fighting. Like, I just had to get hit like three times. I couldn't even fight back. And then they started calling me out like, faggot ass pro skater. Got his ass beat. David Gravett, you fucking pussy. And I'm like, you got eight people behind you. I'm by my fucking self. Like, so roll down the window a little bit. Nice window, man. window. Window. Not the highest point of my life. Probably the lowest. You felt like shit because jocks were calling you Dude, a faggot were, I, pro I, skateboarder? I wanted to fight them so bad, but there was eight of them. Like, there was nothing I could do. There was more than eight. There was like a fucking whole house. Yeah, after that's us. fucked. And the list, and my friend, they turned off. My friend off. needs to go to the hospital. He's like yeah. bleeding profusely out of the head. Oh, and we had one other friend there, this six foot four faggot ass dude that didn't do anything. He stood in the side of the room the whole time. And then afterwards, like acted tough, like talking about how like calling them assholes and shit, and, like saying if there was less of them, he would have kicked their ass and shit. Like he didn't do anything. Like I had six people on me, and he didn't pull one dude off. Like, do you think big guys are usually pretty scared to fight? Well, I think this dude's a fucking pussy. I've known him for a while, and he's never done anything that made me think he wasn't a faggot. No. So, I don't know about that. What? So, the, the jocks turned off... What me? They turned off... They turned off Sabbath and put on Eminem. And, and you, think, you think that's what started it? I don't know what started... The, the, they just wanted to fight us, and I pushed that dude off the chair, and they gave him that... They just needed one, like... They were there to like beat, they just saw the opportunity to like beat us up and get away with it. Like, I don't know. But that kid who hit my friend over the bottle should be going to jail for a long time because we know his name. We fucking have the bottle with my fucking homie's scalp on it. And like, yes. did a double sized bottle of wine, half full. Shit, the, the sound, I'm never gonna forget the sound of that bottle hitting him in the head. Like, it was like dull, but like, dude, it was loud. Like, it just sounded like. I can't believe his skull didn't crack. He got five staples and five stitches and four stitches and three three different wounds from getting hit three times. It wasn't like one hit, you're down. It was like repeatedly as dunk, fast as you dunk, could. Dunk. Like I was in mid, after he hit him once, I was on the other side of the room like on my way to fucking 
I didn't even think. It was just like instinct. I had to protect him. I don't know how my fucking other friend stood in the corner doing nothing. She chunked it gone. Shit was rough. <laughs> stupid of all the dumb shit I've been pulling, like, I was, like, kind of asking to get my ass kicked, but not in that situation. Other, like, just being an asshole at bars and shit, people trying to fight me and then talking back to them to the point where they end up leaving, because I don't know, that's weird. And I get my ass kicked doing nothing. Yeah, I've only had my ass kicked once. I'm pretty I've surprised had my ass about that. Twice. <laughs> and both of them have been totally humiliating. I got my ass kicked when I was 16 by a rollerblader. That was, like, fucking... <laughs> 20 or something. Let's hear about that. Dude, there was, I had no idea what was going on. I worked at a skate park. I was taking the trash out and I rode for crew, so I had tight ass Reynolds jeans on. And the dude's like, nice pants, faggot. And I was so used to like skate, like rollerbladers just being complete fucking pussies. And I walked up to him and I just was like, fuck you, faggot, like right in his face. And then he just slammed into my throat and started choking me so hard. And I was just like, I thought I, I thought he was gonna crack my esophagus or something, and then like I was just punching him in the ribs. And I punched up and hit him in the face once. And then he dropped me on the ground and started banging my head into the concrete with one hand. And then like he got up. And there was all these people around. And his friends like grabbed him and took him out. Like they left all quick because they knew he was gonna get in trouble because he just beat up a fucking underage dude. And he was like 22 or something. And then I got up and everyone's looking at me and I got blood rolling down my face. And I'm just like. Damn, I fucking kicked his ass. <laughs> just to, like, try to it. And everyone just started laughing. And then I went on the computer and I knew his, I knew who he was, so I banned him from skateboarding. From skateboarding. And I wrote, like, you had to write a reason why he's banned. I wrote, got his ass kicked and looked stupid. But it was really me. <laughs> David, how's it going? Oh, it's going. One one hundred and what? Yeah. Are you moving? Am I? This is Mario. So what is that that you're getting there? What is it? It's uh. He's so quick. Oh my god, I can't believe he did that much already. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. It's fucking half monkey, half tiger, and half snake. Thank you. He's not very happy about all these people when here, I'll tell you that. And why are you getting a half monkey, half monkey, half tiger? And is there three halves in it? I'm in Japan. Like, laying on, I'm not good at laying on the floor, like sitting up, trying to watch, you know? Wow, wow too what? big. Uh -uh. Was it hard to tell him no color? <laughs> no, it was no color altogether. That was so good. Doing what in the woods is tight? I'm not drunk enough for all this. You have so much revealing, like, stories about my fucking... Angles. <laughs> 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 <laughs>